This was an entertaining watch, but that's all. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Ashmita and I hope you all are doing well. And right now I will be sharing my thoughts on the Amazon Prime video Tamil film release Mahan, which is directed by the Karthik Subaraj. The movie in its entirety is quite entertaining. Karthik's last film, Jagame Thandiram, was a disappointment for me. But since it is his movie, I still went in to watch the film with quite some expectation. Now, there are some things about the movie that I simply loved and there are some things that did not work for me. So without dealing this further, let's get into the detailed analysis. Starting with the storyline, the central character of the overall plot is Gandhi Mahan, played by Vikram. From his backstory, we are given to understand that his family was a staunch follower of the Gandhian ideology. Gandhi Mahan's father leads a rebellion against the liquor production in Tamil Nadu and makes his son promise that he will never ever touch alcohol and will always uphold the principles of the family. He becomes a goody two shoes but we see as an audience that he is never really contented or happy with his life. He almost always feels the weight of the name Gandhi on his shoulders. On his 40th birthday, he goes through an absolute midlife crisis and succumbs to his quote unquote dark side. And from that point onwards, there is no stopping him. The storyline touches on a lot of things. It goes from the rise of Gandhi Mahan to a revenge saga to a moral lesson about conflicting ideologies. I personally loved the first two aspects that I mentioned of the writing, which is the character arc of Gandhi Mahan and the whole uh, father-son revenge saga. What doesn't work for me is actually the moral of the story that the makers are trying to convey. In fact, when the movie ended, I thought to myself that, okay, this was actually a very good topic that could have been explored in much more detail because it's very interesting to see that how a character becomes so polarizing or an extremist of sorts when you hold on to a one particular ideology and you believe in that wholeheartedly that part is not wrong but when you discard other ideologies and you don't have any tolerance limit uh, for other kind of ideologies and you think that what you are thinking is the only way is the only correct way so how a character becomes uh, you know extremely extremely polarizing in that sense because that was dada's character and i don't think that it was you know explored that well because Dada as a character is extremely extremely wacky and he loses his voice of reason completely but his character stretch according to me has not been fleshed out that properly so that said impact was not there I mean the message barely comes across and you know lands at the right place when Gandhi Mahan at the end is giving that monologue you know it just sounds like a very flat and hollow monologue it does not have that impact and it does not steer your brain into thinking that oh okay that was the moral of the story it actually comes across as extremely preachy and shallow at least to me what i was honestly thinking that either keep the writing completely in the commercial mass masala space and make an epic revenge saga and a gangster drama or if you really want to you know show that kind of moral lesson about ideologies and conflicting ideologies then you know put a lot of subtext in the writing throughout the film because just having that conclusion scene in the climax just does not have the impact and because it tries to do all of the said things at the same time i think specifically the writing for me in the second half of the film uh, falls a little flat but it's entertaining nonetheless i mean overall the movie is quite an entertaining and enjoyable watch and it has to do a lot with the way this film has been directed karthik sobaraj knows how to make a film look visually stunning and this movie is no exception literally every aspect of the direction screams larger than life be it the styling dialogue delivery BGM, action, drama or cinematography. Where I feel I had the biggest disconnect with the direction is feeling any kind of empathy for the characters. I just could not connect with them emotionally. I think the only character probably for whom I had some sort of emotion was Rocky. I did feel somewhere in my heart that Rocky did not deserve the fate that he got in the film. But apart from that, I did not feel any kind of emotion for the characters because I was just watching them. I was saying, okay, fine. Yeah, these are the characters of the film when I'm watching the film. But I wasn't rooting for anybody or I wasn't hating anybody also. In fact, one would think that I will garner so much hatred looking at the way Dada was behaving, but I just did not. Let me know, let me know if you if you felt hatred for Dada's character or if you felt empathy for any of the characters, do let me know in the comments below. I think the surface level treatment of the characters is why this movie remains in the category of strictly for entertainment and doesn't quite become the legendary gangster saga that it had intended to be. Coming to the BGM, Santosh Narayana I think went really over the top with the entire score over here. Which I understand completely because the movie demanded that. In fact, when it comes to the songs, I really like the 
final song which plays when the end credits are happening. Not Santosh's best work, but definitely, definitely praiseworthy. It absolutely enhances the viewing experience. The camera work is also commendable. In fact, the technical aspects really elevate this movie. As I said before, Karthik knows how to make his film look visually appealing and the cinematographer should definitely get all the credit for it. The color grading is done well and the action sequences specifically are shot phenomenally. The scene where Vikram's character Gandhi Mahan is drunk and beating up all the goons Oh, that definitely is the show stealer of this film. I was actually hoping that moving forward, this movie gives us such action sequences, but this was clearly a standout. There's one more action set piece with uh, Vikram and Dhruv. They are fighting together. That was also nice, but the previous one that I mentioned is the best one. Now, the editor's work, I feel honestly, would have been difficult for this film because there are so many subplots. I wouldn't say it was a great edit. The film could have been much more tightly packed, but I was losing my concentration from time to time. Now, when I say that the movie should have been tightly edited, what I mean is that, for example, a movie like Sarpatta Parambarai, which has a runtime more than this particular film, kept me absolutely glued to the screen. I did not even realize. I did not even realize how the time flew by. The scenes were arranged so cohesively that the narrative overall became absolutely impactful. So for me, I think after the lack of character development, the editing is the second weak point of this film. Lastly, performances. Senior Vikram is clearly, clearly the winner. He absolutely outshined everybody else in this film. From start to finish, his screen presence had such an aura that Honestly, I'm telling you, I thought everybody else was underperforming. Even Dhruv for that matter, I mean, he did his absolute best with the character that he was given. And I said this previously only that his character sketch could have been done in a much, much more superior way. So with whatever material he was given, he did his absolute best. But when, you know, when the father and son were having the scenes together, Oh, the father was clearly shining. In the supporting cast, I really liked uh, Bobby Simha, then Sanant and Vettai Muttu, and uh, they portrayed their characters well. The character which was played by Simran, I did not like it. Maybe it was intended to be like that, but it just did not work for me, honestly. So overall, this movie is entertaining. You're gonna have fun watching it. But if you ask me, I'm a tad bit disappointed because honestly, this particular film and storyline had the potential, had the potential to become an epic gangster saga. But now it will be, you know, one of those commercial mass entertainers and nothing more. And it definitely had more potential than that. So yes, you can catch this film on Amazon Prime Video. I watched it in its original language, Tamil, with the subtitles. And yes, that was the review for the Tamil film, Mahan. And I definitely want to know your thoughts in the comments below, what you liked, what you did not like. Did you absolutely love the film out and out? Or did you hate the film completely from start to finish definitely let me know your opinion in the comments below and with that i will end this video here i hope you enjoyed this video and i've come till the end and i will sign off now and i will see you soon on my next video Bye bye